you know, you, you, you do, you don't look like yourself, you don't feel like yourself. Yeah. And it's odd when they, de- you know, if it's part of the cure, then mm. it's like, it's, it's a weird cure, but there's all sorts of other bits and bobs that you have to cope with. Good morning to our friends, the Hairy Bikers. Morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Howdy. Now, right? di- I'm always happy when I speak to you two. <clears throat> now, listen, Dave, you, yes, sir. you look wicked. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I've, I've just started to get out and about a bit. Um, been a rough all year, Chris, as so many people know. Yeah. There's many people going through the same thing. I'm not unique. Um, I'm in the middle of it, but I seem to be, you know what I mean, getting better. My whiskers are coming back and... And the air's coming back and the energy's coming back. So all, all on the right path, Chris. And um, at the minute, I can eat what I want, which is great. Look at that. Thank God for that. Well, listen, you look great. I'm, I'm, never, very, I'm never very good at being grown up in grown up you know, conversations. But And maybe I shouldn't say this, but I will anyway. I hope it's all right. You look great. Because I guess you've gone through the chemotherapy. So you've lost the hair, the, the, the beard. You, oh, yeah. lo- you look like a Bond villain. Yes, Mystic Morris. <laughs> yeah, it was funny though. My wife said the best thing. It, it was, it was like well, the eyebrows are worse when they go, and your eyelashes. Oh God! I mean, so everything, everything goes. Oh, everything, Chris. I, I won't describe, you right, know, okay. but you know what I mean. But uh, my wife said, she said, "Hey, love," she said, "You look as though they pulled you out the mould before you finish." <laughs> and um, but but it's really weird, and you know, you, you you do you don't look like yourself. You don't feel like yourself. Yeah. And it's odd when they, de- you know, if it's part of the cure, then mm. it's like, it's, it's a weird cure, but there's all sorts of other bits and bobs that you have to cope with. But if you get good people to manage it and also mm. manage your head with it, yeah. it's it's possible. Um, it's tough, but, you know, it's a path many people are on. Sometimes, um, sometimes, and many times in life, depending on the, the various degree of it, I've always said you need to crawl through a tunnel of sewage to get through to the paradise at the other end and i think with what you're going through my my mum uh went through chemo a good few years ago now mm. and she said that was the worst the worst but she it, she hated it and i always mm-hmm. remember and i've never forgot to this day uh this is not too personal i said to my mum because she started to lose her hair like you do mm. i said listen I'll shave my head because if you're not going to have any hair, I won't have any hair and I'll do that. And she went, why would you do a stupid thing stupid like thing. that? <laughs> and I went, because I want to support you. She goes, I don't want my hair to go. I don't want to be bald. Why would you choose to be bald to support me? If you want to support me, grow your hair long. And I was like, all right, mum, fair point. I never really thought about it that way. Do you know, my wife said the same thing. She said, I'm going to shave my head so I can, you know, I can support you. And I said, you do realise then we won't be able to go out or do anything. <laughs> um, so please don't, you know, it, it's, no, no. Uh, but and, it's funny, but... And Sai looks, Sai looks as, got, as though he's got enough hair for the two of you now, though. It's almost like he's gone the other way. I've had a cut, you know. I'm... Who did it? Stevie Wonder? <laughs> no, no the, trump, the trumpet player in the band. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you like, I, th- I think it's the Kenny Rogers Appreciation Society. It, hey, man. It, yeah. it, it's Kenny Rogers and a Bond villain. How are you, lads? How are you? Well, you look, yeah. at the, you look at the cover of our book, Chris, and it looks like Brilliant Bakes, as written by Kenny Rogers and William Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got hair like La Angela Lansbury as well, look. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, listen, Dave. I'm 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 glad you're doing all right. Listen, stay. Thanks, po- Chris. Stay thank you. Thank you pal. so much. Uh, and I'm, I'm we're, we're all rooting for you because you're. Yeah, you're and thanks to everybody who sent me messages. I read them. I get them. And it means a lot. Thank you. What um, is now? Give me give me the upside of all of this uh, crap that you're going through. When you said you can eat what you want, what is like? There must be weird moments of black comedy where you're sitting there going, "Well, it's not been a fun six months, but." Good God, I'm enjoying eating this full fry up or whatever it is. At the hospital with the chemo, they said, whatever you do, keep your weight on. And they said, even if it's a, 
you know, a chocolate bar and milkshake diet keep your weight on? Well, I'm not going down that route, but it means you have carte blanche to eat the pies and everything you haven't. And I have kept my, my weight's just slowly creeping nicely now. I'm kind of normal weight as I should right, be. Right. Um, so it's it, it has worked. But as I say, when we were doing the book, it was great because the baked goods are something that we've upside now about to eat in moderation. But now, of course, <laughs> you know, the first first two or three months of chemo, I was struggling to keep tin soup down. Right. But then as your body gets, I don't get used to it, or they adjust the, the chemo, I begin to get the appetite back. So things like the, the treacle and ginger scones in the book, oh, yes. that, yeah, good, that kind of hits the spot. Dave, are you allowed to drink or not? I've lost my taste for it. Uh, oh, I've lost my taste for wine. Oh, no! Uh, which is, That's the know, worst as, news ever! Well, as Si and I will know, we've, we've both spent 30 years imbibing considerably. Um, the odd beer now, and I've, I've just moved to... Uh, you know, near Burton on Trent, so that the beer's great round here. Oh, There's a couple of good locals, and I start, you know, I get out and have the odd pint. Um, but um, yeah, no, it's it's coming back. And I had a little dram last night sitting in front of the telly, so it's 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 all it's all tinkling under the surface, Chris. I'm getting there. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.